It's so nice to see so many of you today on our one day of summer. So it's, uh, thank you for being here. <laughs> I'm Jim Varnum, outgoing chair of the New Hampshire Charitable Foundation Board of uh, Directors. And uh, we're delighted to have all of you here this afternoon and into the early evening. Uh, tonight's program has been created with a, a focus on the future, building on the Foundation's legacy and starting to move into the next era. There are thousands of people connected with this Foundation because, as Lou Feldstein used to say, we are better together. In that spirit, you will hear from quite a few people this evening, and you will hear from our new president, Dick Ober, later in the program. I'm delighted that Governor John Lynch has joined us this evening and would like to invite the governor to say a few words. Thank you very much. And good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for getting me out of the State House. I was talking with Jim. Now, you know, Jim is retiring, and so he didn't want me to say this publicly to everybody, so it's off the record, but Jim told me he's thinking about running for governor. <laughs> and I told him he could start tomorrow. <laughs> but Jim, thank you so much for all that you have done, and Jim Putnam is going off the board as well after all the work that he has done as well, and Dick Ober, I can tell you, working with Dick, has done just a tremendous job. And I look forward to continuing to partner with with Dick Ober on a number of challenges facing the state. I just came from Peterborough. Um, it was a private funeral service for Walter Peterson, someone who we all know and love. There'll be a public ceremony for Walter this coming Sunday at seven o'clock at the Capitol Center. But Walter does reflect the values of the Charitable Foundation. If you read through the values, which I did, the values talk about integrity, high sense of ethics, a respect for different opinions, working together collaboratively, working to make a difference in the lives of the people of New Hampshire and making communities better. That's Walter Peterson. So, uh, you know, we rarely run across somebody uh, like Walter in our lifetimes, and I can say that New Hampshire is so much better off because of Walter and all that he did while he was governor and after he served as governor of the great state of New Hampshire. I want to um, just talk for a moment about New Hampshire. In spite of all the challenges that we're facing, I know that we all agree New Hampshire is still a great state. Uh, the National Journal did a story back in December about New Hampshire. And if you haven't read it, it's a great article to go read. You can pull it up on the internet. Um, the National Journal dated December 4th of last year. And what it was, a message to prospective presidential candidates coming to New Hampshire. I don't, do we have any presidential candidates here, Jim? <laughs> you're, you're not one. He's, he's focused on a different office. Uh, but the message was, and it's really interesting, and you all have a big part of why the message was crafted the way it was. The message was to these candidates, when you go to New Hampshire, Instead of you going to New Hampshire and telling the people of New Hampshire how you think it should work, go learn from them how it works and works so well, and then take what you learn from the people of New Hampshire and apply it to your own states or apply it to the federal government. It went on, then went on to describe New Hampshire as the highest performing state economy in the country. The Federal Reserve said New Hampshire had the fastest growth of any state last year and is expected to have the fastest growth of any state in this year. Our unemployment rate is 45% below the national average. We were ranked the safest state, the best state in the country in which to raise kids. Um, a month ago, we were ranked as the most livable state in the country. 50 states in New Hampshire's the best. So at least as governor, and I try to tell people in Concord this, we have a strategy, a strategy that's working. And we ought to be moving New Hampshire forward, but still protecting the strategy that has worked out so well for New Hampshire. Now, part of that strategy includes making sure that everybody in New Hampshire has the opportunity, the opportunity to live a fulfilling life, the opportunity to 
give back to the community if that's what they choose to do. And I can tell you the Charitable Foundation and working with the Charitable Foundation has played a major role in making sure that we fulfill that promise to the people of New Hampshire, giving them the opportunities that they deserve. So I want to thank the Charitable Foundation for all that you do, and I look forward to partnering with you over the years to come. Thank you again, and have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Governor Lynch. We have another special guest this evening, the Mayor of Manchester, Ted Gatsis, who would like to say a few words of welcome. Mayor? Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the great city of Manchester. Governor, thanks for being here. And also welcome Donnelly Lozo from another great city in the state of New Hampshire, from Nashua. It's certainly uh, an honor and a pleasure to be here this afternoon. And certainly uh, thanks for the hard work for Jim Putnam and Jim Varnum, because certainly nine years on this foundation, you folks have put in an awful lot of time and gotten an awful lot of great results. And that's probably Dick Ober's uh, Next challenge is to step up, and as he has uh, in the past, there isn't a nonprofit, I believe, in the state of New Hampshire that doesn't come forward to talk to the foundation for help. And I can tell you that every nonprofit leaving, whether they are funded or not, is made to feel like they're the most important nonprofit in the state of New Hampshire. And there are many of them that they've helped, and many more in the future I'm sure that you're going to take care of. But it's about a foundation that gives to people when they have less. And that's something we should all be thankful for, because this foundation keeps an awful lot of families, an awful lot of individuals that may be slipping through the cracks and gives them an opportunity to find an opportunity and move forward. And I think that's the most wonderful thing that you can do today, is to give somebody something, because in return you'll get much more. So again, thank you for coming to the great city of Manchester. It's an incredible crowd that's here today, and certainly continue the great successes that you have in the past. And I know that I'm sure we'll be back next year to talk about the many more successes in the years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Gatsis, and we are delighted to have you here uh, this evening. Thank you. Now I'd like to thank our extraordinary board of directors, and they're listed on page two of your uh, program brochure. And would uh, all of you please stand to be recognized for your leadership of this foundation. <clears throat> And I know there are many directors who have served in the past, and would you all stand for recognition too, please? <clears throat> 